Yeah. After 13 years, it will take you to yeah, sign off resignation, yeah. RMS. Yeah. I cannot picture you anywhere else apart from citizen. Well, get ready. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bro, <laughs> nini ni bana. First of all, wewe unajua nani ana complete that in siku hizi. True. Excellence is a way of life. Mm. So you can't wake up one morning and say, you know, today is excellence day. No. Uh, it's a way you have to do it every single day. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Pablo keeps saying you have to show up. Oh, yeah. Just wake up. Sure. Show up. Yeah. You know, it's true for the gym, for life, for relationships, for everything. Just show up. You're making such a big move. Yeah. Are you not scared? No, let me tell you what. Yeah. I am scared. My balls grew smaller. I'm kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, I think before you make um first of all it wasn't a decision I just made like yeah. Yeah, for sure. In um June I just want to thank Long or Not Place for this amazing suit that they've given us to to shoot our conversations in. Thank you so much, Long or Not Place. This place is amazing. Uh, if you if you have time, just come out, check out the rooms, check out their rates. Ni watu amazing sana. Um, also, tasemaji. Big up to Philip Productions who are sponsoring this uh, particular conversation. Um, check out their website. We have films there that we sell. We have merchandise. Jibambeni kabisa. Check it out. Mtuyangu, this is a high energy show. Because <laughs> our, our lecturer for the day, classmates, Mtuyangu, this guy is a bag of energy. I'm so excited to have this conversation. <laughs> And it's interesting on this other side of the of the camera because I'm so this will be very interesting. Um, he identifies himself as a what strategist yes. and a consultant yes. media personality yes. bazu yes twendele is a zot is a zot yeah 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 willis raburu thank you sir yeah, kijana mm. raburu unajua bro yeah. kitu yangu <laughs> baba baba anakuita kijana ya baba anakuita ni kama na juana that is all willis willis Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Tu na shukuru sana Mungu. Eh hey, bro, we, 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 VIP, VIP. Kwa our trail blazer. <laughs> Kwa trail blazer. Yes, yes, yes. Man, mean tanza too from what every person wants me to ask. Yeah. After 13 years, it will take you to yeah, sign off resignation yeah. RMS. Yeah. I cannot picture you anywhere else apart from citizen. Well, get ready. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I guess after 13 years, first of all, just that alone. First of all, wewe unajua nani ana couple of 13 years easy. True. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, ni ngumu sana. So just based on that pekake first. I mean, yeah. of course there are yeah. other issues, but reasons rather let's not call them issues. Yeah. But um yeah, I just feel like also it's been 13 years. I have been loyal to Royal. Yeah. Um and uh, I felt it was time to change and yeah. just a, <sighs> so far it's been it's been yani na muka yani na sikia fiti first of all see amuki mapema bro you've been doing the morning but yeah. what i think sijuka tulianza na wewe internship citizen same yes. time yes and yes. uh roba yes na yeah. roba to shirika raja yes 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 and you've been doing the breakfast show for for how long i think breakfast imefanya for how long hautaniambia tumeenda na na kuacha so you have to figure out a way to get there they call you like anyway i guess so like, because there's a lot of other people on a peak what's next so for, you, <laughs> what's next? for me yeah whoa yeah. i first of all i'm um well there's so many things that i think uh are, like you said i'm a strategist mm-hmm. consultant and stuff yeah. so i'm doing some some things here and there all right for all right. our good governor okay um and other companies all right and then uh, after that i'm still weighing my options if i want to go back to screen um but now again remember there is a whole new other space you know the space that you are in now oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. which is the digital space which allows you more freedom mm-hmm. 
Uh, the only thing that people need to know that it's also hard work. You know, I don't know, I finish products. Hey, mimi nataka kukua kama feel. Hiyo staff si nikukaa tu na ku Yeah, you know. Mm. But um there is a lot of um goodwill from the people. Yeah. I, I I love that people keep asking me where I want to go and people offering messages of support and telling me that you know we can't wait for the next yeah. thing and we want be there with you right. for the next thing. I think for me that gives me a lot of joy because then it means you know when you're inside the bubble mm-hmm. I kind of know nafanya kitu you know you're just basically you yeah. the cameraman the team your bosses and azushiwa ama una preziwa really but still <laughs> it, yeah. it just yeah it's you don't really you just you are more concerned about things that are going on the person who didn't say hi the mm-hmm. boss who likes you doesn't like you right. the colleague who is trying to undercut you or who is your friend that you're not really thinking mm-hmm. yo mm-hmm. we are talking to 3.5 million people every friday right. we are talking to 2 or 2.8 or 2.5 million people every morning yeah. you don't realize it until you are deep in the heart of mm-hmm. masaku mm-hmm. na unasikia mtu mtu wa boda amesema ah yeah yeah wa baby mazi bazu then you're like ah yeah hata huko you know there's a time you are deep in malindi huko mm-hmm. ndani yeah. like it was some was it yes it was malindi there was a, actually it was a um, pineapple mm-hmm. uh, plantation yeah. and like kulikuwa na manyumba tu mm-hmm. structures actually this is a nyumba yeah but these guys are like were baby mm-hmm. so I'm like hey mnaona nga tv aje aje yes, like what time yeah. yes angapi na no si si you know tunakuona wow. na siku hizi pia tuko na masimu so na kwa check yeah. interesting switch na na ini very genuine conversation yes. uh, and i'm so excited i can ask you this question yes go ahead as a businessman because kuna disconnect mm. yeah the, the the money is fleeing tv pesa inatoka tv na kam digital, digital. Right. but the eyeballs are still there for tv like right. tv is not yet dead like yes, the yes, eyeballs yes. you guys i mean 3.5 million yeah. is yeah. not a joke yeah. Bro, nini 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 na happen up here? Where's the shift? Um, I think the shift is coming first of all. Mm-hmm. You know how uh, it, during the days of Noah, Noah alishinda kiambia watu eh eh eh. Mm-hmm. Kuna warriors hapa. Yeah. yeah Sajava sema kuna kuna a lot of waba. Mm-hmm. So get ready people. I want to build the boat. <laughs> right. Let's get on the boat and I'm like yeah. ah this old crazy guy. Yeah. So I think that it will be very dangerous first of all for media houses in general to ignore mm-hmm. the digital wave. And I think the first time it started hitting uh, people in the media is when you would go for pitches mm-hmm. and you're pitching your traditional spaces to advertise and then the advertisers tell you but what's your digital offering right and then you say well we don't have yet and I say well, okay well for me I'm going to switch in fact there are many companies that actually have some of their budget and say you know what we're going to now spend on digital i saw that happen yeah. on a laptop nikiwa kwa meza exactly hey. yeah. so you know and the only thing that people again the biggest misconception is that it is easy Order. Yeah, that's now the biggest misconception. The people think that you know, digital ni kitu rahisi sana na weka tu camera unafanya nini. The thing that I think people should be worried about and concerned about is just consistency, I guess is the name of the game. Right. Um but it is true the money is coming. I mean, look at um in just the 13 years I've been. Yeah. I think right now according to the statistics we are at like 23 million or 24 million phones yeah, yeah. Uh, there are feature phones that mm-hmm. mtana access kina whatsapp nini nini right. and the other thing is also that whatsapp mm-hmm. now becomes the biggest so we have 24 million yeah. and we have about 22 million people on whatsapp there about <laughs> look at that but the whatsapp you know we, we even don't think like it's an app yeah <laughs> but it to be to nika mpesa wewe uko tu ndani like yeah. everybody is like and you to make whatsapp mm. ama ni to like ndio ni kutumia email sana ah hapana whatsapp eh ni to make whatsapp mm. and remember the ruling uh, recently i think it was in some part of the world where the court actually said thumbs up emoji is a contractual uh, yes oh. and they ruled really? in favor of that person yeah jo aliongea yeah. hivi akafanya yeah So I come but will you agree you agreed you can cons- you agreed to the terms by this right. so look at how the world is changing so it will be very dangerous not to change with the world so a lot of media houses in fact uh, shameless plug part of my thesis and my masters mm-hmm. at USIU is mm-hmm. that actually that's what some things I'm looking at okay. um because I feel like not people have thought of digital only as uh, 
in the past it was trending you could be trend i go so um so then companies would be like once we open instagram twitter mm-hmm. uh facebook and now thread right tiktok snapchat yeah. sat kosa we are digital yeah. but there's a lot of things that go into that including the the aim is to make work more efficient mm-hmm. you know to embrace technology so that work is more efficient right. if you're not already changing even your systems mm-hmm. with that yeah. i mean kama gawa iko na if miss wewe bado unatupushia hapo petty cash karata inini mashit yeah then it's i mean you need to really change even the system right. uh change uh, how content is curated for different platforms you know right. how they right now of course what's on facebook is different mm-hmm. there's an audience for it what's on twitter is different mm-hmm. so the reason why there's still eyeballs is also because it is expensive mm-hmm. uh bundles but only yeah. expensive yeah. data is still expensive yeah data is still very expensive so then that means that uh, um if you look at it i think in tw- on twitter i think we had 2.5 or 3 million people on twitter yo kelele yote by the way it's just a bunch of 3 million people that's yeah. not even nairobi yeah yeah it's spread yeah. out so yeah. basically back in the rural areas and people are still pretty much depending on mainstream media to right. give them information so you can't argue yes the eyeballs are changing and things are changing and a lot online influences mainstream yeah but the reason why there are still those numbers you're talking about is because the day that data and i hope the day is soon mm-hmm. uh, because it's also very unfair in the 21st century to be charging some of the things that are being charged <laughs> so easy for you data know. yeah for data it's crazy okay. so what are relying on public wifi pia ukiwa kwa public wifi ukijaribu tu kufungua mm-hmm. account yako ya benki kuisha wewe na nilikuwa nimewawon yeah hiyo <laughs> you know, imeenda yeah, is a rap is, yeah so yeah. yeah you know it's interesting you i mean i think the first gig tuliwaipata and sema tu ni forget and myself cuz i was managing her was by you guys mm-hmm. you and your partner yeah you guys got into the digital space kitambo sana yes, and i'm yeah. talking 2010 yeah thereabouts yeah yeah so yeah. you you've been okay people see you on the on the mainstream on media the main, but, but digital, digital i think you were like the first yeah. agency to start uh doing corporate gigs for digital media yeah, yeah. yeah manze that was actually my two partners pablo yeah. aka john gitao yes and gideon zuki yes. ross mm-hmm. <laughs> uh those two we started in 2010 but first i actually met pablo first mm-hmm. uh in church yes it is true we do go to church <laughs> <laughs> good to know and by that time it was just like let's i, I was doing truth meter and mm-hmm. he was like let's start a page for this thing and i'm like i mean sure go ahead knock mm-hmm. yourself out let's do the mm-hmm. thing because it was a satire show yeah. and it just grew mm-hmm. back then actually truth meter used to trend worldwide wow. like ilikuwa na kaapo and it's because what used to happen was First of all it's organic. Yeah. People are also excited mm-hmm. about it uh, and you know trending at the time. Mm-hmm. And then also because personally for me I used to when it's going on air I used to actually take a computer in the office mm-hmm. sit there and reply to every single mention until they hit 1000. Love sasa tuite kwambie. Yo, it's a rap. Like I used to do at least a thousand every friday oh, i reply na naweka hashtag na reply na naweka hashtag na reply na naweka hashtag yeah. and i remember that time ilikuwa ile ya uh, ungeweka the full quote i think you would just do mm-hmm. you to retweet ilikuwa naweka hapo rt <laughs> oh yes <laughs> so una copy your tweet yeah unaiweka kwa nini yako unaandika yeah, rt, RT. Yes. then una weka hashtag and it keeps on going that way and i think that really helped uh, grow it and then also some of the gigs we got were actually some were elevator pitches unakutana mm-hmm. you happen to meet a ceo and you just mm-hmm. say i can do abcd yeah. they say prove it i'm like yo we already have this thing right. they make some calls you get the job but now the biggest thing is you deliver yeah you see pe- people see success out here and they don't see the the work that goes behind the scenes yes, yes, so yes. you are putting in this work for mainstream media and putting yeah. an equal measure of work digitally yeah. and so they see this wheels and they're like bro you literally had to split yourself into two and you know what happened i remember i used to have arguments with my boss mm-hmm. then farida yeah and i used to tell boss tunafaka kuweka hapo kwa lower third tuweke www.citizen 
tv.co.ke nasema aje na watu wanataka kuona news i'm like weka tu hapo igro yeah. website website yeah nasema pana wow. you that is not what people want to see mm-hmm. <laughs> at the time <laughs> But wow. of course she later on changed I think she went for some two conferences and she came back and said this is the thing yo yeah. can we now be serious about this this, uh, this, this thing and that's again one of the things that needs to happen is going forward mm-hmm. if you don't adapt oh yeah then unajiandike epitaph iko to hapo RIP so imagine fighting about that back then yeah. and now yeah. like you see how like when threads came out everybody's yeah. like wow wow our social media managers leo hey, they're what? in trouble because <laughs> the boss is going to be like so what are you doing for threads manzi yeah so <laughs> you know so, so i was just looking at our social media <laughs> manager the yeah. first thing i told you kitu nini kitu nini nini yeah so yeah. i mean people need to mm-hmm. understand that i guess there is somebody i met once who told me that um, and actually the same same farida said that mm. excellence is a way of life mm. so you can't wake up one morning and say you know today is excellence day no. uh, it's a way you have to do it every single day mm-hmm. and then uh, pablo keeps saying you have to show up oh, yeah. just wake up show up, show up. Yeah. you know it's true for the gym for yeah. life for relationships for everything just show up and then fight from there man um let's go to the man you're making such a big move Yeah. Are you not scared? No, let me tell you what. Yeah. I am scared my balls grew smaller. I'm kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, I think before you make um first of all it wasn't a decision I just made like yeah. Yeah, for sure. In um June mm-hmm. beginning of mm-hmm. uh it's something I've thought about for and that is just generally my nature. Yeah. Um sometimes it works for me. Most times it works for, it's worked for me is i normally give things time. a chance okay. and time before i say okay i think i've given now my best uh, so i've thought about it like from covid uh i remember during covid i was going through a myriad mm. of things right i lost my baby i was going through a divorce um and so that's the time i think it i had i don't call it It is actually an awakening. I just woke up and thought to myself like so what does Willis want? Mm. Now they say WWJD. What would Jesus yeah. do? Yeah. So what what would mm. Willis do, do if he had WWD. Yeah, WWD. Yeah. So what would you do like if you took away the fear, the limitations, the you know the people's opinion right uh of 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 you and everything what is the thing that you do so that's why first first thing i said you know what i've always wanted to go back to school because again when you're in the bubble mm-hmm. of what people regard as fame and yeah. success you think that this is it you know your, your world mm-hmm. revolves around certain people and certain things but there's so much more out there mm-hmm. and one of the things to unlock that mm-hmm. is education because you interact with so many people mm. you think you know until mm-hmm. hey kuna times ngine ulikuwa na kwa class yeah. and people are saying some things and you're like we watu wanafikiria uko nje bwana una sema what how do you know angalia tena ni follow up and ask them so yeah. you know what do you actually do and yeah. you know and also to see now when I actually start cuz that time it was still covid so it was online but just to see the different people also then who despite all these things you know you do a zoom now on a scam total and like a background mm. uh, of course on the whatsapp group and some sorry sir i'm late my child is unwell or i lost this or i did this lost somebody through covid you see you realize that people are generally hard working everybody just wants to be better yeah. so for me when i thought about it i said okay let's let's do this mm-hmm. and see first of all where it takes us and then just like you're saying i've also been observing a lot the media space the digital space and it was informed by me wanting change me wanting to give other people opportunity especially on the platform which is 10 over 10 and all the things i mean i used to do i think i <laughs> by the time i was leaving i was doing six shows wow and that is minus radio i stopped radio because now i went back to mm-hmm. to school Yeah. but then i would also do radio and i would still do news and i was reading news and then i was doing all this stuff so i remember even sometimes once i'm done by sunday cuz monday muta menena kwa tv akitoka kwa tv ingia kwa gari anasikia kwa radio 96 akitoka hapo ananiona online nikipush vitu akitoka hapo ananiona tena over 10 friday at 
nimetoka show midnight uko one so that means because of adrenaline by the time when i feel only two out alala had the four but you have to be in the office the next day by eight or nine because you're reading news at one so by the time uta nakuangalia sema first of all kudos thank you very much you're doing well but una kula opportunity out wengine which i mean yeah is true but still if you can do it yeah explore and do it and that's one of the things i um I'm so grateful for Royal Media for allowing you that room to if you if you can do it yeah just, then they don't say ah we we go shafanya you have mm. you've done enough yeah S- still still on you as a person in the argument we're going to have in yeah. our circles to kiongea as wengine wako eh manzi willis news willis 10 over 10 ah um sana chip and brand uh for me my my argument was like Ah, ama pengine aliforce went to news maybe this wild wild willis it's the wild wild willis <laughs> that is the actual willis yeah. and he's actually happy doing that yeah um <laughs> yeah how because that was such a shift news 10 over 10 mm. bro so you see it was a shift for some people but for those who for example were in campus with yeah. palemo university mm. uh eldoret shout out to my kesses people <laughs> my mingala yeah 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 <laughs> so it was it was a surprise to them because i used to hold actually i used to do comedy in 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 high school i used to do shows wow. charge people 30 bob naili kwa na jaa hivi for those wow. who know lt3 uko mo <laughs> university right. if it still exists watu walikuwa na jaa it was actually called wayne live my middle name is wayne mm. uh, <laughs> but that's that say yet yeah my yeah. middle name is wayne so it was called wayne live it was modeled after, after Churchill show right. so there would be comedians there right. would be dancers mm-hmm. and then i had an alter ego called penaina so i would dress up like <laughs> penaina i had the whole leggings yeah. and i think if i have the picture i shared with you i had leggings and a wig and a wrap skirt interesting yeah and i would be penaina with an eye mm-hmm. model now after media i used i, I yeah, love media yeah, yeah. so f- for them first of all they were shocked now to see me serious doing news uh-huh. And I did actually come to think but I did have an opportunity there was a small opportunity and I I there's my uh that there's a time Royal Media wanted to start their own comedy show mm. and but I had just gotten employed right. and remember my dad did not know that I've done media he thought I've done IT so I was so excited that I finally have a job you know in save by the yeah. graduation because yeah. he was walking to the wrong tent yeah oh. <laughs> school of nini but miniko school media <laughs> publishing and media mm-hmm. so um i was so happy i got the job so when the opportunity came i actually didn't go for the audition uh, but it was supposed to be there right. and it was supposed to now rival churchill mm-hmm. but then i also remember i did remember churchill was doing top it was top comedy yeah, top, top, comic. top comic i auditioned actually oh for <laughs> oh yes were you part of the show no no i, I, oh, I didn't, didn't, I didn't it. get it they, yeah. they didn't know what funny was <laughs> because i actually did there's a time the first time that comedy paid for me mm. i did something called um, sounds of africa mm. on radio netherlands online oh. Right. And uh, a gentleman called Simba mm-hmm. got me uh he, he called me for an, there was an audition mm-hmm. and I went mm-hmm. and I did like eight episodes mm-hmm. just pure stand up. Yeah. And I was paid when each each episode I was being paid like 40k. What? I was rolling. What? <laughs> of course I blew it all. Oh. But, <laughs> but I was I was, <laughs> I was rolling. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. nearly untouchable. Man. Yeah, yeah. and uh So for me by the time I was now doing news mm-hmm. but let me tell you a lot of people who do news I have videos and yeah. some people should pay me for yeah. I have been, <laughs> people are crazy first of all shout out to Hussein Muhammad Hussein yeah. people who know Hussein uh-huh. he's not that serious guy you see there oh. I mean he's serious but he yeah. is far oh yeah, yeah. he is yeah. crazy funny mm-hmm. and we used to make a lot of noise and have fun with him yeah but you see now when you do news it's that's the persona yeah. also, although i used to try to break mm-hmm. the mold a bit while i'm doing news and right. you know make some sort of jokes or make it easy and warm right. Right. um and so when now so then people knew me as this news guy mm-hmm. but then when roll media did a poll and they found out that we are not really talking to the youth they told yeah. us to come up with the show so we came up with 10 over 10 yeah and so then let me tell you that day i remember i was wearing um I don't know we're not so good with colors but it was a mustard trouser and a, mm. a, a a coat and a hat yeah 
that day and it was raining i remember yeah. first, uh, one of our first guests was a call there stage ilikuwa nje na kuranyesha let me tell you when i held that mic i felt so alive everything oh, oh man when i when i that time yeah. my baby hadn't come like the yeah. name hadn't come yeah. of the song yeah. but when i told people make some noise and they were making noise and yeah. it was like yani ili yeah. feel ni kama wanani it's There's going something. right into yeah. the heart like it's flowing right. in and my heart was just so full right and that yeah. i used to look forward to especially with the audience before covid yeah it yani i don't know it was a stress relief it was mm-hmm. i would anything that i would be going through so that new, week. news ilikuwa side hustle news ilikuwa side hustle <laughs> news ilikuwa sosa ilikuwa sosa yeah, but yeah. i mean yeah, yeah, no, yeah it was it was mm-hmm. because that and then also i looked at it the national progression for anybody who does news is unafanya you do you become a reporter you do one o'clock news and you end up at prime yeah so by that time when i looked at my you know mm-hmm. like i told you i, I like doing a lot of analysis and mm-hmm. thinking so i said okay this place we have amazing superstars mm-hmm. these are the people with the news mm-hmm. i mean janet bugo sen muhammad yeah. tom boy ateria jebet mm-hmm. michael jenga all of them had days mm-hmm. uh and kiguta and then friday lilian muli yeah. all these people have days so i thought to myself okay what is the likelihood of me mm. going to this guys in fact even if, if these people are sick yeah. am i even number two? like i yeah. will stuck home yeah si akama shikilie there were still other people right but then on the entertainment space at the time mm-hmm. i think there were like maybe three people doing it right so i like so this side i'll be easily top three. Mm. this side i'll be hata si takuwa na namba nitakuwa kwa reserve pale for those who know football hata si substitute huko reserve si kwa first team ama team b niko kwa team c ya man city right i said man city man united but but you get my point yeah, yeah. so i i figured see what you need place where yeah. and then the way that i feel when i do the show mm. when i finished reading a bulletin okay. um versus when yeah. i finished at number 10 right it was a world of a difference oh wow yeah um still on the man will strabo yeah the man. something something yeah. really really talked about and mm. that's your weight loss journey mm. um how has that been unajua I remember where were we having this conversation it was just along around uh, body shaming right because eh, right. eh, madem alikuwa amekam strong gym mwacha kutu body shaming yeah, yeah. it was like but you are so make jokes about wheels every single day mm. online yeah How people some of them are bold some of them are mean the comments and yeah. then they ask me for money in the dm so sometimes i just screenshot and send it to them and say umejilipa man so <laughs> I pay yourself for that. So yeah. but you know the thing about it is first of all um it was actually really stressing and, yeah. and hurting and disturbing right. and uh, it got to me a lot of times yeah. um because sometimes it's just you've just posted a picture it's nothing mm. you know it's just yeah. the app is for you to post pictures That's but it. the comments so people mm. what people are saying and and not even what they're saying it's more how they're saying it you yeah. know they're very vulgar ruthless mm-hmm. cutthroat mm-hmm. you know i remember one time it sounded funny but i laughed then i was like damn i mean i'm being in so the same i put i said ready for 10 over 10 and put like three flames the flame emoji mm-hmm. then somebody was like is of flames who chome na yo mafuta ya mwili yako so i was like sasa we moto i was like okay and then now you see the the the, the model of operating online mm-hmm. is once the first three comments are about a certain thing yeah. you can be dressed very well and someone oh, says yeah. suit yako ni cheap that's all of a sudden that now becomes, becomes a thing the because guys like mob mentality yeah. online mm-hmm. but it could change issues go street how I talk like say story mm-hmm. for another day yeah. but so there was a lot of that mm-hmm. even in dms even people just even when you do try to go to the gym yeah everybody will be like ah hiyo yako hapana yeah. tunajaribu but bado Badu. you know so many comments and so sometimes i would it got to a point where now i would just not read comments mm. i'll be like ah it because yeah. generally i'm also a happy guy mm. so and then if you confront somebody like those who i sort of knew mm-hmm. whether like especially if they were in the same space like there's a time a radio presenter mm-hmm. uh, you know dissed me on the comments and it's 
went and told him, dude, we are supposed to be together. Same, and yeah. you know what you're doing is wrong. I said, ah, no, 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 I'm just doing it for laughs. And I told him, no, that's another way to do it. If you yeah. want to do it for laughs, do it the right way. Get a stage, mm -hmm. a microphone, yeah. make people laugh. Yeah. But don't laugh and benefit off of somebody else's right. uh, pain. That right. makes you a sadist, right. plain and simple. So, of course, he apologized. But did he take down the tweet, uh, the comment? No, I'm the one who had to go a day later and delete it because he was enjoying the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And some people, you know, do it. I think people need to be more sensitive because... Mm -hmm. People do it out of just, you know, it's the first thing people tell you. Yeah. It's like you already, you don't know. Well, yeah. I woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror. Probably tried three or four outfits that didn't fit me and used to fit me and felt bad. Yeah. Sat down, mm -hmm. had an emotional moment and a breakdown. Then finally gathered the courage to dress up and leave the house. Yeah. Then the first thing, even people come to take pictures. Hey, I want you to pick a picture. Like, you know, ah, when you're big. Hey, ni, 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 ni. Yeah. So before I used to still take the picture and smile like, ah, uh -huh, eh, yeah. But then it just became, yeah. I started telling people no. And I guess people would be shocked. I remember there's a time I went to a, a popular hotel uh, in uh, Nairobi and then we were, we were going into the lift. Mm -hmm. And this chef out of the blue just says, ah, we usingie, unajua ukingia iki tuitajia. So I told him, okay, fanya hivi. Eh, you and your attitude, park it somewhere else. I'm, me, I'm, I'm out, I'm gone. Like, ah, bazue, wacha, ha, ha. And I said, no, 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 let's go. We can take our money elsewhere. I think you guys are, your yeah, institution is okay. Mm -hmm. And it was actually, I was actually going for, to the hotel as part of a social media campaign thing. Mm -hmm. So I was actually going to help the space. Mm -hmm. But that was, and you could tell the people, the lady who was in there. And of course, I was actually with my fiance at yeah. the time. And, you know she of course was very pissed off yeah. so everybody else was looking at him like dude Mazazi. yeah what yeah. what's that all about mm -hmm. the thing is i i started speaking more about it mm -hmm. and sometimes to be honest atamimi was very mean um because sometimes you must kind of fight fire with fire yeah, yeah, yeah. um because yeah. i remember i think one of my meanest and i'm not proud of it but one of my meanest tweets was there's this lady who every time i'd post a picture mm. every like she did this for four months so yeah. i was i used to just delete i delete i delete mm -hmm. i delete and then one day she said uh something like I think she called me a cow or something ngombe or something like that and i said okay you know you've been really yeah. talking about my mm. weight i just said it up in our comments you've really talked about my weight for like three months and you see mimi now is in the gym and I lose the weight, but what are we gonna do about your face? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, I, after that, she, of course, oh, other people started attacking her, which was okay. wrong. Yeah. So I felt bad and I kind of pulled it down. Yeah. And sorry to her if she's watching, but yeah. it just had to be done at yeah. some point. Yeah. Um, uh, but that's not the way I would have wanted to do it. And even when I went to do the surgery, mm -hmm. because I'd been so vocal about it, I also didn't want, I wanted to take away the, the, yeah, you can call it the stigma around it. You're right. Because there are many, many people do this surgery, by mm. the way, many politicians, mm. many, even people just, yeah. Kenyans do it, but they don't want to talk about it because mm. people don't want to, it's, they look, they say it's like a shortcut. Right. I mean, I don't know shortcuts in your karibu una was a die. You can under. Yeah. Is that you might yeah. there's a chance of you not coming back. Yeah. There's a chance of I mean the of course though for the operation the chances I think 3% mm -hmm. something could go wrong it's pretty safe. Yeah. Uh but still it is a very expensive okay. undertaking. Yeah. And it is expensive because and that's one of the reasons I spoke about it is because insurance companies are not helping people do it. Mm. Yet, if you look at the statistics from WHO and everything, we are generally an obese nation. Yeah, I think there were statistics that were dropped, I think, last week. Or last yeah, week, or and especially even younger, mm -hmm. even younger from mm -hmm. the age of 15. Right. So if, and, you know, if many people who have been in a hospital here or have relatives or friends who've been in hospital, you will know it's an expensive undertaking. One week mm -hmm. can drain all your accounts mm -hmm. like you can use a shamba ufajanini one week of a chronic mm -hmm. disease yeah. is not good in mm -hmm. this country um and so if you can do something 
now yeah. to save you from something like that happening in Later. future yeah why not do it, do it and yeah. so i spoke that's why i spoke openly about it i i did uh gastric full gastric bypass surgery wow. okay and i'm proud of that moment because I, it's a moment where i felt i invested in myself right um and all the money i paid for it the feeling i get now is priceless the like when i dress up and i'm leaving the house mm -hmm. and i look at myself in the mirror i'm like god damn <laughs> look at you guys favorite child i mean i was still god's favorite child then yeah. but yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. it's uplifting and then also the benefits health wise mm -hmm. uh are, are amazing and this is actually something i encourage people to do it's expensive but if you can because you save for holidays you save for all these things mm -hmm. if you can and mm -hmm. especially if you've already tried working out and it's not working for you mm -hmm. if you can still work out by all means pay the instructor mm -hmm. pay the gym mm -hmm. work out yeah. be disciplined consistent follow what they say nutritionist everything mm -hmm. you'll be okay mm -hmm. but if you're not a point where like for me by the time i was going for the operation i was 164 kgs wow. that was in may Right. The doctor told me because you're already in an upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. December, you'd probably be looking at maybe 170, 180. Mm -hmm. And at that point, yeah, you wouldn't have made it. Not you. Mm -hmm. They'll still do the operation. Wow. But because even after, I still had to do uh, ECG because mm -hmm. I was having difficulty breathing. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if you have a surgery, it also brings up some underlying yeah. issues. Yeah. But then they found that Kumbi, you know, they call pressure, high blood pressure, the silent killer. Mm. So Kumbi had had high blood pressure and my, I don't know, they explained to me some stuff that has been happening about thinning of some yeah, veins. veins and whatnot and things like that. And it was bad. Mm. <laughs> and if I would have gone on, it would have been a different story. Uh, like even to the extreme. Yeah. 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 So sure. I was happy that I did it at that time. Right. And that I chose to do it and invested in myself. And... It's been it's been good so far. Of course, still people still talk about ah, you know, in the beginning because again, Kenyans are not patient. Yeah. I mean, you still pretty much look oh, the same. same. Yeah, sure. So guys are like ah, you're better than a bad Then that. and you know, for me, I have a very for people who, unfortunately, and it happens to most people, you really capture the negative comments more than the positive. Humans, I yes. don't know why we do that. So for me, mm. wale watu, najua handles za watu wanani sumbuanga kwa account zangu. Mm. So to see them later, come back and say, oh, uh, kume, ah, sasa umeanza kukapoa. Wow. Uh, but you see, the thing is, if I would have done it for them, Mm -hmm. then I would be hurt immediately after when they're yeah. not clapping and saying, yeah. wow, you did the surgery, hooray, right. hooray. And I would have waited until now to start yeah. feeling better. But I did it for me back then. What, what do you think set you off on this path? Um, I know for some people, uh, gaining weight is, yeah. uh, you know, hormonal. Mm -hmm. uh, for, and for some people, it's stress eating. Right. And others, it's um, lifestyle too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey. In lifestyle because hey, lifestyle. junk is cheaper. Yeah, junk food is cheaper. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So for me, uh, it Life. was um, lifestyle. It wasn't really lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I genuinely stress eat. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and also because uh, so I tried. I mean, I had the best. I think uh, the trainers that I've, I've used over time are yeah. the best in the game in the uh, country. Alvin. Uh, Alvin I, Lee. I love Alvin. Yeah, yeah. Alvin Lee, Ival, uh, Morris, mm -hmm. uh, Morris or Ultrafit. These are the best of the best. And I trained with them over time. I'm back training with Alvin now. Yeah. Uh, I trained with them over time and we would get results. But for mm -hmm. me, like, yani I take two weeks off. There's a time I lost like 25 kgs. Right. I went to the Americas. Mm. I went to the US mm. for two weeks. Quisha. Came back six kgs heavier. Because so, so for me, it is my biggest problem is carbohydrates and sugar. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's my bottleneck drinks. Mm. Zauko Maju. Oh, yeah. Maze lemonade size, lakini scary. Yo. Huko nagunia. So then I think I gained my most weight in 2020. Uh, because of stress because i stress eat a lot right. and sometimes i don't really tell because again scientifically they say once you start feeding your palate that mm -hmm. in other to yeah like two sweet things all the time and i teach you and i teach you come out and buy and i teach you and i teach you but but still <laughs> uh -huh. um dems are just chilling mm -hmm. anyway so in i teach you and mm -hmm. so for me that 
that period was intense. Okay. Uh, it was an intense period. Uh, the whole period of uh, losing the baby, the divorce, yeah. I gained a lot mm-hmm. of weight. And so then you see, you st- so you start remedying it mm-hmm. this way. You unafika this keji ingwa I fit of course uh, mm-hmm. a bigger one yeah. who conceal so you just right. keep buying bigger uh, right. you know wardrobe mm-hmm. and then you if you look like you're comfortable right. um, and partly though I was happy that I had uh, you know the weight yeah. and I was on TV mm-hmm. because again it was breaking a, mm-hmm. a mold of the type of people who are supposed to be on, on TV. TV. Like if you switch off and you see this guy yeah. jumping here, being happy and having fun mm-hmm. and you are like him yeah. or you always believe TV people are supposed to be a certain way, chiseled, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. Bernard and Dong. <laughs> Shout out to Bernard. Yeah. Um, it's, I was happy that it was breaking that mold. But right. then now, because it was having adverse effects on my health, yeah, yeah, and you start witnessing it, Polo Polo, you're taking some steps, few steps on a hammer. Right. You know, ile time, maybe una, you're having some, una, chokozana na your body, and a kuches kidogo, eh, <laughs> on a hammer. Yeah. Um, you then, I used to have this seat, so yeah. I would actually feel every time I'm sitting on that seat eating, yeah. gradually over months, it was becoming harder to stand up. But I wasn't stopping. Right. Because again, somehow you can't, there is no switch. You can't mm. just switch it off yeah. and go what they call to, call tacky, like bam, ni mm-hmm. So it was, and then again, a lot of things are happening for me emotionally. Because let me tell you, uh, by the time somebody is overweight, they know. Yeah. And they're not happy with it. Mm-hmm. Um, they try to be right. as positive as possible. Right. Um, but they are in the back of their mind. They know I need to work on this thing, mm-hmm. especially health wise. Mm. Um, so for me, during that time, of course, I was going for therapy and all this. Yeah. But um, because you would imagine that if you are going through depression, mm-hmm. you're having all these suicidal thoughts and stuff. Some people say go to the gym; it's an outlet for yeah. energy, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah. But for me, it wasn't working. For me, it was food. It was fast food. It was. Mm-hmm watching tv it was and also because deep down i felt like oh uh, that was a way of me running my life mm. like i've been told a lot of how to be how yeah. to do how to what but let me just be me just like i say to be a bazoo so just be me mm. watch it let me just make this decision this is my turf yeah. like up away it, it is my decision it mm. could be the only thing that i'm deciding for myself so let me be happy with it that was what Actually, that was the, my mind space at that time. Who was making the other decisions? What was happening? Man, it was people, oh, yeah. um, society, society mm-hmm. relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I didn't have control. Mm-hmm. Because generally, I'm a, used to be a quiet guy. Me, me, I'm saying, I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. Me, I would take it. I would mm-hmm. take, whether it is at work, at the family, mm-hmm. Anywhere, yeah. I was, I would take anything. Right. It would be, yani for me, kukasirika, I'm not taking time. Of course, unless ni konja. But <laughs> kukasirika na, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> but, so, but that, and then that's not the way life is supposed yeah. to be. You know, you're supposed to stand up for yourself. I didn't Absolutely. have a voice. Absolutely. Anywhere, at the office, yeah. and even, you know, I, I always make this joke that some t- some of the times you think that I was really busy, but it's because I I just couldn't say no. We listen to the radio, sure, let's do it. We listen to the TV, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Unaza work. I wiki kwa sababu shikile uja. There's a time I worked for like Jesus, forty mm. days straight, no break, Oof. every single day. Was it translating in the account? Well, <laughs> I wish it was, but uh, <laughs> well, to some extent it was. Yeah. Let's be fair to. Uh, the royals yeah. uh yeah to some extent eventually it was eventually. that was part of speaking up because mm-hmm. i was doing it and 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 it, i wasn't being mm-hmm. uh, compensated as i would have wanted right but you see um and i in fact when i talked to one of my bosses he said you know i, I as a human mm-hmm. i would i would really want it to be that um you know we have a a way to say you know this guy is is doing so much let's Mm-hmm. Get the money, but if 
you're not talking and you people know you as like a happy guy mm. we don't know if you have other business you're doing out there and it's making you money yeah so as a business mm-hmm. if i can get maximum output with minimum input yeah my books are looking good right so i'm okay so if you don't speak up sometimes yeah. then you, you get in a problem however mm-hmm. uh, organizations must have also mm-hmm. some way of right. kuangalia I, yeah. I think that also one of the things that people should move towards is you see we're moving away from people who are on air personalities just being on air personalities yeah now they are talent yes. basically mm-hmm. so the way you treat talent and mm-hmm. one john guitar will tell you mm-hmm. first of all talented creative people are very difficult to deal oh. with <laughs> yeah, yeah ask me i direct them yes all the they time. are difficult to deal with because they exist in a certain world where uh for for like butita to create mm-hmm. he he has some a certain set of yeah. environment he must be in he yeah. might come to the set late mm-hmm. but that's his is a creative most mm-hmm. creatives by the way are late oh yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> and or i might not sh- show up to work every day mm-hmm. but the thing that you want me to do if it's writing a script yeah i cannot maybe i don't have to go to the retreat mm-hmm. maybe i just need a night I need to be out there as well yes. to get the yeah, series, to yeah. get some of those things. So yeah. I think for me one of the things I did was to start speaking up and say, "Hey, oh my, I feel like I'm doing ABCD mm-hmm. and it's resulting in EFGH." Yeah. So can we find a way to meet? Is that you speaking out? Is it, is that part of the reason you did the book undefined? Yes. Yes, we yes, yeah. Buru has a book. I'm not Please. an author. Kwa ile we say strategist, eh, consultant, consultant author. 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 My friend. Hallelujah. I want to be you when I grow up. Uh-huh. Where can we get the book? Well, the book. So, here's a funny story about the book. I just def- I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> um in the book, mm-hmm. at the time I was writing it. Yeah. I had said I'm going to leave media and mm-hmm. pretty much I remember maybe in two years or three years mm-hmm. of the next election. Right. Um, then I left. <laughs> I left last. So it, there are parts that have to be reprinted. Oof. So the actual launch will be in August, August 4th. Okay. That's okay. when you can actually get uh, the book. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give that you can get it on... Uh, there are people who are in conversation to stock it, but mm-hmm. also you can just get it. The old Yugo style, when mm-hmm. I got to go till number, now you're going to get done. Yes, and I'll yeah. share the till number a little bit later. So mm-hmm. the book, Undefined, that actually was born in that time I was selling in 2020. Right. When I started and realized that, you know what? Again, I went to my my bio mm-hmm. and I said, oh, this says this and this says this and this says this. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are titles that people know you by uh pastor s uh simon bevy says that uh, most of the times when we ask people who are you you give a response and say mini field director mm-hmm. like you answer by what you do but that's yeah. not who who you, who are. you are it's just what yeah. you do right. same thing that i faced mm-hmm. news it's just what i was doing right uh, it's not who i am yeah uh, you know i may look serious there mm-hmm. but you know and same thing for 10 over 10 i did the show the first few episodes after i came back from morning the death of my baby i would yeah. do the show cry in the car do the show cry in the car or cry on the way get in the mood yeah. wash heads find a show you see so it's that's just what you do it's not who you are mm-hmm. who you are is a complex mm-hmm. uh you know thing that you really right. need to sit and think about right. So when I looked at all those definitions that I put on my bio, in fact, during that time is when I deleted all of them and I put undefined. Mm-hmm. Because I, again, like I told you, so many people were putting labels on me. Right. Uh, th- those who the school of thought of, mm-hmm. like you said, you are on 10 over 10, yeah. you used to do news, you're on 10 over 10, now you're cheapening the brand. Yeah. I had a boss actually tell me um, that, you see, you in this year, 10 over 10, you just sell condoms and alcohol. Mm. And uh, you're not a serious guy. If somebody tells you you're a serious brand, they're lying to you. And I told him, well, these condoms that I sell and this alcohol, is in a company person. What have you done for the company lately? Ooh. Yeah, I had to ask. Because that's what you have to do. I can't say my story early. Sasa ndo watu wamejua. But huko angaenda kusema wili sasa mimi niongelesho baya nani amesikia. Yeah. Yeah, so many people were defining me and I I felt that uh, even for other people 
you can get lost in the label. Mm. It happens. It happens to the best of everybody. I mean, even if you're president, you can yeah. get lost to the yeah, the um, powerful. Let mm. me appoint this CAS, mm. even though the law says I should not. Yeah. And boom, you still the law says, hey, 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 excuse me, yo, mm -hmm. yo, checks and balances, my G. Yeah. So you realize, ah, yes, I did swear to the constitution and do ABCD. So it happens to the best of mm -hmm. everybody. And so for me. I did go through a phase. There's a time, but then kichwangi liko kubwa. Apo in the yeah. biningi, ni liko nimefura kichwa. That's why you need friends around you yeah. to tell you, eh, bro, you ain't nothing. We know you, mm -hmm. my brother. We know you, right. everything, right, inside out. So stop behaving like you're brand new, baby. Yeah. You need those guys to kind of pull you down. Okay. But at the same time, friends can define you. Situations can define you. Mm -hmm. Relationships can define you. Sorry. Um, work can mm. define you because they want you to be a certain way yeah. because it benefits them. Mm -hmm. Everybody will always want something that benefits them. Right. So for me, undefined is taking back your power, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, you set the rules. Mm -hmm. You see, it's being CEO. You are mm -hmm. now the CEO of your life. Right. Basically, you are the oh. one who you hire people, you mm -hmm. fire them. Mm -hmm. we, we come a, you know, you've tried to explain to them this is the way it's supposed to be and this is how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. And if they make an effort to change it, cool. If not, then it's not hard feelings. It's just, yeah. guess we are different. That yeah. way. Let's just not do this anymore. Mm -hmm. So it is realizing that you have, first of all, you have so much power on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like inside of you is so much greatness that is being sat on by issues, problems, friends, mm -hmm. um, some that you issues of majority or the same siwa kujitakia some that are put on you but you have the power to change it's never ever too late mm -hmm. like you can change and that's what i want people to take when they read the book mm -hmm. which is also one of my mantras successful people like, look like you like it's not it's not different mm -hmm. like unaona vile unaka yeah if you look in the mirror right. that's what success looks like that's what the 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 overall uh, message of the book is wow yeah Man, <laughs> successful people look like you. Yes. And Man United. Mm. Okay, Jamalizi hapo but Unajua hiyo tumekuwa na season nyingine. Hiyo <laughs> <laughs> man hiyo ni character development. So uh, I decided not to hinge myself. I was undefined. Yeah. I listen watch nyinyi you do your thing, okay? I'm no, I can't change the structure. Are you cuz I fi I find that you you know you share a lot about your personal life, what right. you're going through, whether it's weight, whether yeah. it's family divorce you really open about it just yeah. uh, for me well you see the thing is <laughs> the things that i share are things that i want to i don't share everything right and yeah i don't go into the nitty-gritty mm, but the reason i do share mm -hmm. is because um i want people to know first of all it's because there are also people in my space yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of in the media in mm. the content creation world who are going through things mm -hmm. because you see if you are out there now, I always say people live in an aquarium. Mm -hmm. People who are on TV or mm -hmm. social media and they are known. Mm -hmm. Basically, everything that happens, yeah. oh, the fish is eating, oh, yeah. the fish is now asleep, That's oh, there is no movement, oh, there is no movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just to let them know that uh, people go through things, and especially men yeah. um, who, you know, we're not... Tradi now it's changing, but yeah. traditionally you are not supposed to share, cry, right. show emotion. These yeah. things were, would render you weak. Right. And Actually, just uh, when yes. you're still there, because I think that is what um, just owes me about you. Mm -hmm. uh, the things that you speak about traditionally, yes, yes, yes. men will be castigated for that. Yes, you yes, know, yes. You wake up and say, yeah, I'm divorced, I'm going through divorce. I'm struggling with weight mm -hmm. and just, you know, there's so many men who are afraid of what society. Talking about that, yeah. yeah what and that's and the thing. Say, yeah. mm -hmm. Those, you see, um, I remember Betty Chala once did an interview mm -hmm. on True Love and she said when she was going through her divorce with Dennis, mm -hmm. uh, pastors and everybody would tell her, but you're an example to the people um, and people will start uh, talking and what would I give up? Mm -hmm. So how she asked, which people? First of all, the people who are important to me mm -hmm. have already been informed of this decision. Yeah. It is only because I am in public mm -hmm. that I am that it is now going out there. Mm -hmm. And of course they say social media in laws and UTC. Yeah. Now, for some things, but there's something like my divorce, I didn't talk about it because I wanted to. It's because uh, somehow it leaked yeah. and 
people started calling and then I started trending because mm-hmm. everything I was handling, I didn't want it to ever come out, yeah. really. Um, of course, I would have spoken because I was going to definitely get probably remarried again. Yeah. I would have spoken about it then. Mm-hmm. But because, you know, people decided to lick it, then I just had to, I mean, I was like, okay, also, we are not running away from the thing. It is true. Yeah. There is nothing yeah. to run away from. It happens. That year, I think that I got the divorce, I think the court had said there was an extra 2,600 and something divorce cases. Whoa. But of course, people don't talk about those ones. They mm. only talk about yeah. <laughs> this yeah, one. But it's just, there was, that is more. And of course, during COVID, mm-hmm. that also happened. Because again, I feel like sometimes in relationships, people are not as real with themselves. Yeah. So COVID gave people a chance to, I'm not saying that's what happened to me, but COVID mm. gave people a chance to, to actually sit and say, wow, who know what I'm going to say? Because that's a handy pile, a handy wipe. So who know here in his natural setting? Yeah. Who know? This is just them. Mm-hmm. My friend CJ Temo says that, yes, you're allowed to change over time mm-hmm. because your spouse has not seen you grieving. They've not seen you without a job. They've not seen you without money. They've not seen you in COVID. Mm-hmm. So you can actually change over time. Yeah. But at the core, mm-hmm. there are some principles that are just who you are. Mm-hmm. That is what was revealed a lot during COVID. So mm-hmm. most of these things that I talk about, um, apart from, like, for example, uh, when I lost my uh, baby girl, yeah, is because who okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, ah, okay, yeah, it's because uh, people are not were not expecting men to talk about it, yeah, yeah, and by all means, the woman has carried the right. pregnancy for nine months, felt the movements, the mm. kicks, everything. There was that extra union, we cannot fault that. Women are amazing for doing that, and that bond is forever there. Yeah. But uh, whew, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But then the thing is that uh, you see, when you're the dude, you've been there the whole journey. Yeah. You felt the kicks, albeit from yeah. the outside. Yeah. You had a perception and uh, mm-hmm. an expectation of what you want. Yeah. And uh, you had dreams set out, you know, you're like, oh, this, I can't wait. You know, mm. as a man, you yeah. go into the, oh, yeah. I can't wait for the day. I could be a good one protect. Yes. You know, like yeah. you, you go deep into planning and That's everything cool. for, for this baby, not knowing what's going to happen. Yeah. So you are very emotionally involved. You are there, especially if you're present, you know, there mm. are those who, Mm-hmm. you know, hit and run. Or yeah. whatever. But if you're present, you go for the clinics. Mm-hmm. You, you're there in the middle of the night. Yes, you can't help when mm-hmm. there's back pain or what, but mm-hmm. you are there. Yeah. yeah, you're there through all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so for you to get to a place where you have your, the loss happens, mm-hmm. society is automatically wired to tell you, be there for mm-hmm. your wife yeah. or your partner. Mm-hmm. And it's okay. You mm. at some point you have to kind of find a way to be there. But you need to. The thing is, you need to be there for each other. Right. And it's a basic principle. Yeah. You have to be there for each other because again, you have not seen each other grieve. Especially yeah. if this is your first. If yeah. you haven't never lost uh, somebody, someone, close, yeah. someone close, this is now first for both of you. Right. You realize one person grieves by going away, taking mm. walks. Yeah. Or another person grieves by now getting closed up and hibernating. Mm-hmm. Another person grieves by being open. And I want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you have to try to balance all of that together. And for the man, you're also now dealing with, I wake up strong. Eh? You know, wake up strong. You know, you'll get another one. Mm. Yeah. You know, it doesn't work yeah. like that. Yeah. You're dealing with so much, you know. You are there also like when the body has not even adjusted mm. to you know there being no baby yeah. when that first moment when you are sitting and you realize oh your partner still has breast milk yeah and there's no baby yeah so you have to be there through all of that mm-hmm. <laughs> all of that Sorry, experience yeah. yeah so i think i um spoke about it because i wanted men to actually know that first it's it is more unfortunately common than we think yeah and then two, you can actually feel through it. You mm. can get therapy, mm. you can talk to your partner, you can talk about it. That is actually the way to heal. If not, if you put it in, you know there's some things that you might bottle up now mm-hmm. and it's okay yeah. uh, because you're being tough or you, mm. and then also you get drowned in work. Mm-hmm. Like for me, you know, 
normally the period of time for you for grieving uh, i disagree with but, but most organization is two weeks mm. uh, but i asked for an extra two because i was like i really just i need to just mm. make sure i'm okay so that i don't come and i'm using now work as an excuse to drown my yeah. my sorrows then it would have been different for me so mm. i just wanted to mention that you can grieve take your time to grieve um i mean talk about it cry wail shout mm-hmm. uh hold hands just grieve before you even you know talk about you know it's very insensitive to tell somebody yeah but apart from ngine or um you know maybe mtoto angekuwa hai angekuwa na ugonjwa ama ama angetana ata kwa crook i mean people told me all these things by the way so i was like but at least angekuwa si wacha kwa crook na zaenda ni muone kwa jela but yuko ni mtoto wangu yuko yeah. instead of having this hole in my heart where mm. she's not here anymore you know or angekuwa amestressi kama nini you know the people come up with all these things the other main reason again is uh, for men to come out and talk about it mm-hmm. and be about it let it be there let it be there that this is somebody you had i've now had um other children um but i actually respect my fiance for always allowing me because grief it never really goes away no. there are days you just by the way, there are days i think as early as two, three weeks ago like you just sit in the car and you just remember and you go down a rabbit hole and yeah. you just break down and you're emotional and it's a whole thing um so just to be you know if i mean my case is different because now I'm with someone else but mm. if you're still with that person to allow each other to you know just go through it especially for men because mm. you know um i feel like uh, we find your shame mm. that hey man you know you find that shame of breaking down but go through it if it comes you owe it to the person you've lost oh, yeah. to go through that moment yeah i i i, I kind of switched that it's something i saw online um with uh, an actor i really love nadine mepotea but he framed it so well he said um anytime he cries nowadays he doesn't call it grief mm. for him it's it's the unspoken love that is outpouring the unspoken right. love that you have for that person who passed on and yeah. you couldn't tell them yes, yes so yes. all these tears and yeah once i started thinking like that i switched so anytime yeah. i'm crying for someone i've lost yes yeah. it's, it's all the love that i yeah. have for this person yeah. yeah that's actually a very good yeah i'll use that as well <laughs> I really yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks, ah man uh bro uh before to <laughs> <laughs> um you know curious about your musical journey yes sasa hiyo nayo ilipata off guard hiyo and then nilijaribu kukutetea hapo kwa presenter to i mean news to 10 over 10 yes yes wakati uliingia gengeton kasema huyo mtoto ni bangi memwaribu sasa hiyo hakuna kitu kingine usiharibu jini ya bangi atuje to experiment but usiharibu usiharibu bwana eh wajakoya alikuwa pole pole yes yes watu wa wajakoya yes well i think you know that was another thing that i'd always wanted to do So that's what I told you for 2020 2021 it was a period of li- of life where I was just like Willis wewe unataka ngani nini okay what are the things that you want to do and mm-hmm. I said I always wanted to do music mm-hmm. uh, I mean for me growing up mimi ule mtoto mwenye nilikuwa nimeshika lyrics mm-hmm. and nilashika remote kama microphone na na fanya fanya you know yeah. behaving like I'm this superstar mm-hmm. and singing the songs mm-hmm. so for me at th- especially at that point I just felt like ganga tone was getting a bad rap. Yeah. And it's just because um and the other thing when something is happening and people can't control it or understand it, they hate on it. That so ev- at that time everybody just needed guidance. It was mm-hmm. a new thing, just like with everything new you need mm-hmm. some guidance. So I just I said Brida was the first person who mentioned me on a calligraph track. Uh, He said yeah, 10 over 10 isha ifunga kama Willis. Mm-hmm. I was like ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I called Breeder yeah. and then uh, Major has yeah. been yani I love his music. Right. And then uh Reckless mm-hmm. is a guy who at that time I knew had the best hooks. Yeah. Um and so 
gave him the stuff and he made kalale mm. then all the rest in saru mm. uh, i i needed like i need a i need a female right. and i was like i need a female who can spit yeah. and who is with the gangato and i remember saru manyaru yeah so i was like let's go mm-hmm. so i put them together and I, the experience what i wanted actually for to happen was because with because with major they had some longevity in the game mm-hmm. so i wanted people to really see like you know when you're making the music i insisted you know this is not i didn't want people to create mm-hmm. and then send it to the producer marvel no, no. no i was like let's come to marvel studio right. let's see how people create mm-hmm. what is major's process what is breeder's process what yeah. how does saru write mm-hmm. how do i you know mm-hmm. get in there yeah i did some stuff mm-hmm. i made noise mostly <laughs> but it was you know i was dj kelly <laughs> that's like who i was so right. um i brought them together mm-hmm. And of course as with everything people started hating yeah. but thank god for the people who love the music they mm. just kept listening and listening and listening and listening and 1 million 2 million 3 million 4 million 5 million 6 7 8 bro you are yeah. 8 million yes i need to go 8 and That's my son i think i'm a, i'm fanya <laughs> most of the 8 million <laughs> i'm fanya from 80 million to a few hundred thousand right. my son actually knows and sings along to kalale like he says mm. he says what does it mean he says to be abazu mm. he says be abazu he knows he doesn't even know what prowess is mm-hmm. but he says prowess yes. it means prowess and then but i made yes sipendi chali amewekwa anafanyanga hivi anasema kalale he calls me bazu mm. sometimes he calls me if he does if he, if he calls me dad baba and i don't mm. he, uh, respond he says bazu oh, wow. i'm like oh Oh, wow. Young man. Okay. So <laughs> So for me if this was the reason I made the song mean it goes to Yes, I had the big goal of let unite mm. the gang it but my son singing it back to me mm. and if you ask me nataka kuwatch it on YouTube and I say makalale. Oh wow. So we play that song every day until <laughs> the mom will go and be hey, hata msanii amechoka. Tumecheza hii song sana. Hata na hata. And During that time I've recorded so many songs man. Eh uh-huh. I love I have, I have song with Calligraph Jones OG OG yes. Yeah uh-huh. that is not just released OG kwanza I think atamen kasirikia <laughs> is I really born a really Buddha what you do you do to Buddha hata sasa hizi hata 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 itabidi ni wa converse tena ju sasa sijui kama tunasema ni you know mm. uh, so i have songs masauti okelo maxwell eh. so many people that eh. have done okay okelo okelo nasumbua sana hapa nje yeah, yeah okay. okelo bwana okelo We. yom eh yeah, story za kung fu bwana <laughs> wacha na okelo bwana that man <laughs> so, <laughs> so there are different songs that i've done with different producers and now that i have some time on my hands yeah. maybe i should start releasing them Why yeah, not? Yeah. Why not? So so na release na ushat word ready bro. Ni ni ni. Actually that's another thing so in one of the songs na sema vile sita word ready. So I have to really do the work that. Oh. Um but uh, I I think even for the ready by the way. Yeah. I also did that uh to say that um again nobody can ever put you in a box. Mm. And the fact that people are now calling to address the toys that is not funny kind of bad. Bana nilifanya na I did work for an extra two years with those dreadlocks on. I got social media gigs. I did I mean it was it was I was just working. It was revolutionary for TV in Kenya. Exactly. For a presenter, news yeah. presenter. But I was I mean, like I was yeah. asking Jeff, Jeff, you had dreadlocks when you were at CNN. Mm. And people even used to call Jeff Mufasa. Yeah. Back then, Mufasa, Jeff Koinange, because he was like one of the people before the Medina, from the Chab Desert. I'm Jeff Koinange. No, no, your time. Me, me, you get that? Siku moja. Oh, bangi. Oh, I'm very willing. Oh, stress. Okay, okay. Yet the writers of the Constitution, Bobby Mkangi, are gonna dread it. Nameless as some believe. Like any we love, bad man we love. <laughs> I can't get ready it's, uh, it's a problem but I understand that people are also concerned yeah. um for my close friends the rest yeah. they really didn't matter to me yeah. but my close friends and family uh you know I, it took them a while to understand yeah. so this is actually what you know yeah. but I like my my boss Mr. Chairman mm-hmm. one day I was on the streets of RMS and I met him and he looked at me and said like, ah you know people are telling me to fire you for putting dreadlocks 
Is that really? Aren't you working? Yeah. Aren't you delivering? Yeah. Yeah, delay na kazi. Oh, wow. Once that happened, ah, sure. ain't nobody telling me nothing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> in. I'm on. I'm in. <laughs> Nikondani. Ndakas. Ndakas. <laughs> Hapo na kuna mtanganisho kitu sasa. Ah. Hai, hapo. Hai. Nikasema let's go. We working. No. <laughs> We will put off guys. <laughs> Yo. Yes, yeah, so I just it's just perspective. It's perspective. If you don't mind me asking, this this period um when you're experimenting with the dreads when you like okay, I'm you know no one is going to define me right. just out of curiosity this right. is my own theory how right. old were you oh, damn, how old was i how old was i how old was i that time We're talking about 33 yeah 33 spot on thank yeah, you about <laughs> sorry there, there's always a theory and of 33 yeah around between yeah 30 33 actually 33 mm-hmm. to 35 is when a, a lot of people just start asking themselves Who am I? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. this Sath Guru had an explanation that I will not go into but oh, I love it can, Guru. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just made a lot of sense. You okay. know happiness mm. is not a function of <laughs> other people. <laughs> you love Sath. Guru. I do love Sath Guru. You are you ask yourself, look at it. Why are you sad? Is it because of other people? or yourself you have to be content with mm-hmm. the inside mm. it's just the inside going outside i love sad guru man that's my do bro yeah you need to get on set <laughs> you're very good at imitation what the hell yeah, actually yeah my my fiance na mianga hiyo sana eh bana kuja hii pande yetu eh naweza kuja when ipatie nini just bring the, the contract i'll sign sawa sawa we'll do the thing we shall try you yeah. i will i will definitely definitely by the that's another one of my dreams by the way yeah to be on film because you're really good with the imitations and wow, <laughs> that's amazing so what what does your next chapter look like sasa well my next chapter mm. is uh, i think one of the things i'm really looking for is uh, that i've always looked for mm-hmm. is i always ask myself if the thing i'm going to do does it have impact i think that normally keeps me a bit it keeps me sane it's just my way it doesn't have to be anybody way uh, but it just keeps me sane um that i've made a difference mm-hmm. and because again uh, i listen a lot to what people say and mm-hmm. even if they're just saying it by the way mm-hmm. but there's a time uh, again farida was giving us a story and she was like you know uh, i came with such and such from this place mm-hmm. and when i wanted to move i came with them to this place and because if you want to be a leader or call yourself a visionary you mm-hmm. can't do that if you're not bringing up somebody else right so even with 10 over 10 i would give opportunities for other when i'm away mm-hmm. you know especially now when we didn't have a co-host joey i would like to give it to somebody else mm-hmm. you know and people like no people will forget you the show will die what if they're better than me like, if they're better than me isn't that good for the show yeah yeah let them come and be better than me that's actually that's mm-hmm. that is growth That's right. what that is about because I won't be there forever. Mm-hmm. So that's why you know I would give the chance to different people because the goal is to put people on. Mm-hmm. Right? And you have been given the platform. It's not first of all it's not mine. Mm-hmm. It belongs to SK. Yeah. Um and the people, the audience. Mm-hmm. So it's something you've been given. It's like when in the Bible when they gave the talents. Mm-hmm. So the thing is what are you going to do with this thing that you've been given to make a difference? Yeah. And of course that's why I kept doing it in 10 even with the criticism and all that yeah. because for me I would see what it means to an artist to come from stage yeah. during that time the gangaton kids mm-hmm. to come from stage and quickly rush to the phone and say mama when you on oh wow you know that wow. people don't see wow. but for them it is like wow mm. you know or they come and show me like the time I hosted some uh, just recently before I left a Maasai artist mm-hmm. and he showed me what's up yake he a poster at number 10 he was like in 10 or subgroups of the ma community wow. na kila mtu alikuwa anasema we are yani we can't wait he had like then when he left he had like 300 whatsapp messages 200 different groups then there was a time when again other people come on the show and they say you know i started with 1000 subscribers now i have 2000 just after wow. the show or when a client comes i remember this one client who came and we are bidding on his website mm. and they put the bid 
ika crash ji watu wame and up or people come and they want to sell tickets we have a flash sale mm-hmm. and then they tell you hey you know dude we've just made like 2 million right now of tickets guys have bought tickets i'm like oh wow that's that's what tv should be about making impact mm-hmm. and so for me my next thing is is it impactful if it's tv and i get an opportunity to make impact again i'll be there mm-hmm. if it's the digital space and i have an opportunity to make impact i'll be there if it is government mm-hmm. and i have an opportunity to make impact sign me up mimi mm-hmm. nitakuwa hapo my next move definitely mm-hmm. will be a place where i can make impact definitely that is without a shadow of a doubt in my mind wow yep um karibu tu hapo kumaliza this a random question i ask people mm-hmm. what is that stranger than fiction story that happened in your life that people wouldn't believe has happened <laughs> <laughs> okay there are two yeah one is really interesting okay both are interesting uh-huh. i don't know if i should tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's the story you want to hear. I have an order of them. <laughs> but what I can I tell what immediately came up to my mind? Yeah, yeah. So back when my dad was in provincial administration in mm-hmm. and my brothers are going to kill me for telling this story. Yeah. My brother <laughs> and my sister, my family. But I got to say it. So mm-hmm. back when my dad was in provincial administration mm-hmm. uh, and he was a DC then mm-hmm. before he became a PC. He was in Kakameka. Tulikuwa pale Kakameka handi. Sasa pale kwa kina Rinsi Hasoya. So anyway, so back then <laughs> and my dad everybody knows my dad knows he's strict yeah to date my dad calls me i think twice before kushika i have to like am i okay is there yeah. did i just you know is there some profanity is the mm. is the system holy mm. is everything okay let's yeah. bless the lord mm-hmm. so he was very strict and at that time i just i was just in a defiant mood mm. yeah. so i was playing outside mm. <laughs> and then i was like you know what so between the main house and the gate yeah. ni, it was a bit of a kadisa zani kulikuwa na kokoto mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i was you know i decided to pee mm-hmm. all the way up nilipita tu 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 you know when you're young oh, yeah. when you're young you 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 pee stronger <laughs> like unaweza mm-hmm. unaweza kuona kuna kania soda unafanya yeah. inaenda you got a strength sasa hiyo jaribu you know <laughs> I it don't move. Kuna lesson after this. <laughs> twendele, twendele. It don't move. So, <laughs> na kokoto unapina in a split kokoto ki Moses like the river. Jo just ksh, 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 ksh. Ah. But uh. <laughs> so, I was like, "Wow, look what's happening." La 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 la. la. Mm. So, and it was all my cousins. Well, my cousins remember the story. Yeah. My cousins and everybody was there. <laughs> and my dad will happen just be coming because there's a there was a big window right. up over the living room. Yeah. And he just happened to peep peep oh my god and i can i can say willis <laughs> and just again because again you're in your youth you can also stop immediately mm. yeah just oh. yeah nikama okay. start stop engine i'll leave kirolita no 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 hey hiyo singe kwa hapa hiyo singe kwa baba hiyo singe kwa so he was like willis what are you doing mm-hmm. so in my mind so i st- You know this time I've stopped everything. I I got the strength, you know, mm-hmm. nimefanya kegels, nime <laughs> nimekaza. Hakuna kitu natoka. Mm-hmm. So I turned and I weighed the options. Yeah. I'm like, this guy has already found me out. So he might as well finish. Ooh. So I told him just one minute. Na nikamaliza and as a good Kenyan shook it three times because after four it's a game yeah, yeah shook it three yeah, times playing with it and yeah and mm. put it back in yeah <laughs> and then i went to face uh my consequences uh with the clean hands i washed my hands <laughs> after and uh, it was so nobody believed that he by then my dad was speechless <laughs> so i don't know if i reminded him of himself or <laughs> Or he thought this case is going to be the end oh. of me. Our now what animaliza. Mama Willis, these people shall finish me in this house. They shall finish me. This is gagana gagana. Stop. Bad bad. Uh, uh so <laughs> that is one crazy story. Bro. That happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh moral of the story. Moral be, of the story. Your key goals or something. I yeah, yeah no, I mean be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Yeah, be, you need to be strong. You yeah. need to make sure everything is working. Right. Uh and the other moral of the story is Ukishikwa wachilia. Yeah. Ukishikwa wachilia. Bro. Ukishikwa wachilia. Yeah, ukishikwa wachilia. Yeah, let's let's scramble. Just let it loose. It's you're you're there. Umeshikwa. 
CEOs. Yeah, Polini, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, actually, because that's the first story that just jumped out. <laughs> Immediately, you said that. I'm like, ah, I remember that day. Because it was defining. Maybe I knew it's over. Right. Mm, but, you know, aliniangalia tu, akasheki chwa yake. Nikasema, well, you know, pretty much now we've done the same thing. Hata mini lisheki chwa yangu. Oh, wow. Nikarudisha. But yeah, anyway, peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Atatumalizi hapo. Nikaa kwenye tunaenda siku nzuri. Thank you so thank much you. bro. Thank you for having me. Ah uh, man, thank you. It's uh, just an honor just having this conversation. Thank you, thank you. Um we've seen we've seen the work. The reason I asked about uh, the amount of work you were putting in and your bank right, account is right. cuz the only other person on Royal Media I see doing so many things is Jeff Kwenange. Eh? Yeah, man. And we see his lifestyle. Yeah, like, Jeff. Okay, I ho- yeah. I hope, uh, I hope Willis and Alipo uh, See, come on, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, and definitely not. Definitely tell not. Tell you that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but you know what? Because Jeff is such a... Jeff, sorry to... I mean, no, 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 it's okay. But it's Jeff a, is my... Problem. Jeff is one of the people who made me continue doing media. I was at K24. I've told this before, but I was at K24. Mm-hmm. And this guy, mm-hmm. this guy, editor yeah. had it in for me he didn't want me to be on air for some reason because you know you have to do a voice test to now mm. start voicing mm. stories so he used to tell me work a flash disk na anasema oh computer yangu ina port and rudi kesho work kwa cd i go burn the cd back in the day una burn sana sema oh sorry i read work kwa network the next day and sema kwa network i fanyi work kwa each specific folder na kwa hiyo folder miss you ni maybe mtu alilete and Jeff used to sit right next to him. Mm-hmm. So I did this for a week and then the final week, like on Friday, I can be, you know what, your voice is just not good for TV. So that's it. So that time I was dejected. And I remember after that, I went out for lunch. No, I didn't go for, for lunch. I was just sitting there, but Jeff was still doing capital talk mm-hmm. at K24. Yeah. So he left. I didn't even see him leave. But now when I was now leaving, because I was like, no, I'm not voicing the story. I'm not voicing the story. So I was leaving and then the elevator opened. Boom! Then I see Jeff. You know Jeff anyway, Jeff goes larger yeah. than life personality. Oh, yeah. Of course, you know, you know yeah. he might slide through Kimjaribu <laughs> Kumshigaibi. But <laughs> yeah. But I was like, oh, first of all I was like, oh my god, I'm this intern, this is Jeff Kwenanga Z. You know, and back then guys were like probably Jeff at Akona Share Z K24. Because he was the thing. Yeah. He uh, still is. And so, I listen, I saw what that brother did to you. Of course, he mentioned his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let me tell you something. Don't give up. One day, everybody will know your name. Ooh. Yep. And yo, nilishikilie. Nilishikilie. Nika sawa. I went back. I, had, I hadn't finished uh, school then. I went back, but then I knew. Yani kuna mutu anazo believe in you no matter what. So, I said, okay. Sawa. Let me, let me, let me go back. Because I was in third year. For three years, when I get to go, actually go and intern, I'll do it. And I want to go to TV. Because back in my university then, what we call it, my publishing houses, Oxford, Longhorn, mm. Nini. But me, I was like, I want to go and intern at a TV station. And years later, of course, I met Jeff again. Jeff helped me make some of, you know, so he's helped me secure the bag mm. a couple of times. Because, oh, he, he, Jeff, when you want to say after fifth, yeah. you know, you got to... you. You let people know what you're thinking. Yeah. Superlatives and all. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, yeah. I mean, his idea. There are times he looks at some deals I'm about to sign. He's like, no, no. ask for more. Yeah. Yeah, ask wow. for more. And sometimes there's one time he actually drafted the <laughs> the WhatsApp message. He's like, give me that phone. I can dig up. I after talking to my team, of course, yeah. teams as an EA, yeah. I want to mm. change it at follows mm. for this. Yani anonge that come at 200 kg. And I'm like, Jim, I'm not you, sir. Mm. I ain't got the G wagon <laughs> and the big house and the authoritative voice. Mm. I'm just trying to make it, <laughs> sir. Have mercy. <laughs> but somehow, yeah. when he sent it, then the next day, mm-hmm. they actually said yes. Yeah. I was like, wow. wow. So kumbu kiji, where we know naji and sell. Yeah, just always aim for. The top. I always say the sky is not the limit. It's a stepping stone. There's something above the sky. 
So just keep on going for it. Well, I just want to thank Long or Not Place for this amazing suit that they've given us to to shoot our conversations in. Thank you so much, Long or Not Place. This place is amazing. Uh, if you if you have time, just come out, check out the rooms, check out their rates. Ni watu amazing sana. Um, also. Big up to Philip Productions who are sponsoring this uh, particular conversation. Uh, check out their website. We have films there that we sell. We have merchandise, Jibambeni Kabisa. Check it out. Um, I think the next session we have with you, we're just going to do the entire session with you doing different voices. <laughs> just come in as a personality. Because the director part of me is just mind blown. I'm just listening to you. The different voices you're able to imitate. Yeah. Ah, man. What is it? My Yo. Wait. Do you need break? Do you need lunch? 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 Do you need lunch?